skin can be overwhelming when you first look at it. What are all these blobs and lines and so forth? Let's start at the beginning, epidermis. It is created, the surface skin, at the base cell, stratum base cell. And those cells are going to gradually move upwards and specialize into the spinosum. And they're still very much alive. Okay. Their, their mission, just so you understand their mission, is to keep pushing upwards and to be uh, come surrounded by keratin and die. And they create this desert on top so that nothing lives on our skin. I mean, once in a while you get a, a fungus that can penetrate down. But for the most part, we're waterproof and fully protected. Continuing on, okay, granulosum. The keratin surrounding these cells are becoming more waterproof. Lucidum is just a thin layer. At the top is the thick stratum corneum. So it's going to be thick on the palms and soles of our feet. Certain areas of our body, this is really thick. In other areas, it's thin, like you see down here. How in the heck are you going to learn this? Well, strata, they all see strata, and then come, let's get some beer. Corneum, lucidum, granulosum, spinosum, basal. That's just one of many ways we can learn it. For light touch, like a mosquito lands on your skin, you have the Meissner's corpuscles right below the stratum basal. Down deep for pressure and vibration, Pacinian corpuscles. All right. So it takes a little pressure to stimulate these, whereas the Messner is just, man, the lightest touch, like a little tick crawling on your leg, you can feel it. That's good survival value. Apocrine. This produces a complex substance that uh, we find just in certain parts of the body, like armpits and groin. And at first, it smells okay. But after about two days, the bacteria get in there, and that's why you get body odor. It's usually from the secretions of these apocrine glands. So you, you got about two days to take a, a shower <laughs> before you start smelling, smelling pretty bad. All right, uh, it's supposed to be a sex attractant though, at first, so um, it does have some value. Okay, cuticle. I'm looking at the hair now. The outer, basically, skin of the hair is the cuticle. Medulla means it's the center, and cortex is where the color is, and that's sort of in between the two of them. The papilla is where the hair forms down at the base, and so as it moves upward, it's going to dry out, and we have the shaft up here. Okay, ecrine sweat gland. We can cool ourselves off in the hottest deserts in the world, 134 degrees plus. As long as we have water, we can survive because we can sweat profusely. So we're built for hot environments, even though maybe we don't like them sometimes. Rector pili, that's going to pull oof, and create a big cushion of warm air. Sebaceous gland produces sebum that's going to leak up through the neck and keep our skin preserved for the future. And that is it. See? Not so complicated. 